folks in uh, across uh, Thunder County, we do have the belief in focusing on the whole child and that in order to reach the whole child and see gains, we need to look at all aspects from social emotional learning to their academics to their cognitive behaviors. And they all, research says they all go hand in hand. So in order to be able to successfully reach a child, we need to focus on all four aspects of social learning, their emotional intelligence, their academics, and their cognitive workload. And this program, um, based on all the research that we have done, is the program that most aligned to what we were trying to accomplish. And we can't teach a child academics until we teach a child how to think, how to learn, and how to be able to play with their emotions. Uh, we had to go to a, a program. We're seeing increase in referrals over the years for a variety of reasons, uh, specifically uh, physical aggression um, and the inability to handle conflict resolution. So we realized that we had to do something differently and we needed a, a better tier one system. Uh, PBIS has been positive for us and we've created lessons and implemented those, but we needed something more. And this program is, uh, is a tier one intervention where we're doing it school-wide in every classroom and we're seeing some great results from it. Currently, uh, looking at the data that we collected, we began a program in November, early December, and have done it uh, with fidelity since in uh, nine of the classrooms throughout the building. We have had a reduction of over half of the referrals from the first three months of school to the second, uh, to the last five, six months of school. So, in the first three months of the classrooms that we had the program, we had. 45 referrals and in the five months since we've implemented it we've had 13 referrals. Uh, physical aggression has gone from 56 um, uh, different incidences down to just 16. So focusing on those areas that we saw the greatest need we've seen some tremendous results um, and we've also seen an increase in our academic performance as well in those classrooms. Our math scores have increased in the classrooms implementing PASS by over 22% from uh, over their, their peers, their colleagues, uh, from quarter one to quarter three, and 8% uh, um, greater number of students that are reading on grade level than uh, the classes that are not implementing PASS. It was all about our teachers and our staff is absolutely outstanding. Uh, when, we, when I introduced the desire to bring a program in, I had nine teachers that just jumped on board and they fully supported the idea and they know that we have to do something different and focus on the whole child and the teachers have made this program successful. Um, they have bought into it, uh, they see the benefits and they have really spread the success of the program with the entire school. So it really came down to a group of teachers that were committed to doing this with our with our students. Uh, really, the research that was conducted was I highly recommend reading the implementation guide. Uh, it breaks down the information about why the program is beneficial, how it's to be implemented. Uh, really looks at um, what can make it more successful. And it, but the bottom line is buy-in. Uh, principals, assistant principals, they have to believe in it, they have to see the benefits in it, they have to be the, the, the cheerleaders for the program like anything else because if they don't have that feeling that this is important, it won't be successful and uh, teachers have to believe in it and see the results and celebrate those, those wins along the way um, and continue to build. I mean, it is a program so the more that teachers can bring in uh, the real world and the applications of what they're seeing with their students, if there's issues that are happening at recess or conflicts that they're noticing, allow them that opportunity to bring it into the program and makes it even more successful. Um, but it is an easy program, the lessons are scripted, um, and uh, with the great school psychologists like Dr. Jones there supporting the, the research and the neuroscience behind it, uh, really allow teachers to see why this was so beneficial and done a great job in The staff, nine teachers, actually I had 12 teachers that stepped up and only had enough materials for uh, nine uh, of our staff members to implement it. Um, they were just so excited to do something different. Um, one of the things that we're always worried about is where are you going to take time from? What are we going to cut out of the day? Where is that going to come from? 
uh, because we have implemented this three days a week for 30 minutes, uh, in integrated into our language arts block right now because there is a standard connection in each lesson to the ELA standards for each grade level. So there is a nice blend there. Um, but what we've noticed is it's beyond that is teachers are able to teach. They are dealing with classroom management problems a whole lot less because students are starting to understand their emotions, that it's okay to feel a certain way, it's okay to be mad, it's okay to be angry. And then they're provided with uh, different strategies in order to, to improve that and to help themselves feel uh, more comfortable. We talk a lot about there's no such thing as good and bad feelings, that there's comfortable and uncomfortable feelings. And because it is not a bad feeling to feel angry, but there's different ways that we need to handle that. Our students are able to do that, so that means they are able to attend to their learning. They provide uh, their classmates with strategies, so tell their classmates to do the turtle, or uh, you look like you're getting angry, uh, and it really is, uh, they do a great job of self-regulating um, their peers. But implementing the program and, and the, how it's run out, the, the staff has just, they, they've taken it on, and they have truly, truly made the program successful with their students. And right now we are seeing great results. The rest of the staff is, is excited. They've had the opportunity to go in to observe and we are really looking forward to doing a school-wide next year. So staff made the program work. We, we always focus on relationships. And we, we know that uh, relationships are key to learning and, and key to success. This program helps to build those relationships there's, it's not something different, so it, it falls in line with what we're doing with restorative practices and uh, in circles. It, it works well with other interventions, so the, the zones that we do with our Tier 2 and Tier 3 students, they all integrate nicely together. So the language is common across the board. Everybody's using the same language. Um, we're talking about comfortable, uncomfortable. We're using different terms, such as the turtles. We have. Um, zones and pictures um, so that students can self-regulate themselves. So it is a common language that you hear. The, the language is used between students, it's used between teachers, it's used between teachers and students. Uh, we, we're recognizing and uh, being able to provide feedback to our, our peers and give them strategies and help them and understand that sometimes we feel a certain way and it's okay to feel that way and to help each other out and be supportive. And uh, so the commonality of the language um, the, the positive outcomes that we've seen in all of our data in the implemented program has just really made the program blossom. I, I believe the greatest benefit is we are focusing on the whole child. We, we, we have, uh, our role is to send our, our kids out into society to be successful. Um, what, all the research and all the feedback that you see on any social media account or in the news is employees are looking more for social emotional intelligence than they are looking for an IQ score or a percent or a score on SATs. They want to have students that have that high social emotional intelligence. That's going to lead to greater success. Uh, so it is our role as educators in order to, to meet that need and to provide the supports for our students to be successful in life. We have to open up the doors for our students, that they come in with their backpacks filled. There's a lot of trauma. Uh, we, we learn from ACEs, we, we've learned from uh, trauma informed decisions that we need to do some things differently. We need to provide different supports. This is what we can do in order for our students to be more successful. So I believe we're, we're preparing our students to be successful in life beyond our walls um, because they're able to to handle their emotions, they're able to understand them better, uh, they're able to deal with their peers, to have better interactions, and to be have the higher foundational skills so that they can learn it and be successful.